We are part of Ukrainian Pavilion and we're doing networking, meeting with the customers, uh, with our colleagues and uh, having a great time. Uh, and you have some special connections, uh, Sweden and Ukraine. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm part of Sigma Software and the Sigma is part of a Swedish company called Sigma AB. We work with a lot of customers in Sweden. I actually work with a company called Danas, which is uh, great. It's growing in Sweden and um, I love Sweden. I go there pretty frequently. Okay, so about the situation in Ukraine, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so of course, uh, beginning of the year was very hard for us, but despite the fact we have still managed to grow, the whole IT industry in Ukraine has grown by 16% this year. So people keep on working, they're super motivated. And here we want to bring the image of Ukraine back that, you know, we're growing, we're a digitalized country and uh, we can do business. Uh, and on the technological side, what does the future hold for Ukraine? Well, from the technological side, I think we have all been kind of mobilized because new ideas keep flowing in and, uh, you know, people are super motivated. And of course, like we want the war to end very fast and we want to win and everyone is kind of uh, very motivated. And if we look on the business side of things, uh, tell us a little bit how things are going there. The IT industry, as I mentioned, it has grown and uh, we see that startups are still uh, being created in Ukraine. Uh, people are actually still getting money in Ukraine, so uh, it has not stopped. It has even grown more than uh, the previous year, so we really expect next year to be a boom for Ukraine. Thank you so much for taking your time. Thank you. Thank you.